the reason I want you to do question one was I want you to kind of um, tell you a trick about dealing with the units. Because I think that's kind of a thing you will see in this problem set where a lot of the units are given in terms of uh, atmosphere, because that is really the common and perhaps most convenient uh, pressure unit. Um, and liters, uh, that's easy enough to convert to cubic meters. Um, and then the, the unit for work is asked for an SI unit. And it's kind of a pain converting between the two. And I don't know if I said it in the hint. Yeah, also watch the unit. Uh, yeah, so there's different ways to do it. <laughs> Let me show you both ways. And then uh, I'm going to just to stick to the easier way um, till the end. Um, so let me show you the hard way first. So by the way, for this question, in terms of working out the numerical answer, that's not all that hard. It's an asymmetric expansion that makes actually the expression for work pretty simple because you have constant pressure. That means work done is simply the, that constant pressure times change of volume. So pretty simple. So actually, if I'm keeping the units here, the work done, I can simply say that's okay, pressure, 2.4 atmosphere times the change of volume. That's uh, 2.5 uh, liters, 2.5 liters. So that's simple enough. So can't do that in my head. Um, 2.4 times 2.5. Oh, really? That's six? Oh, didn't expect that. Um, six atmosphere times liter. Now, the problem is that that's not the unit that the question is asking for your answer in. So you have to do unit conversion and you can do it in two different ways. Uh, one is by hand. And I think most of you learned this in a chemistry class. And you know, it's good practice. If you feel like you need to practice, do it. You multiply by factors of one. So you multiply by a factor of one, which is designed to get rid of one of the units and change it into unit that I want, Pascal. So I say, okay, one atmosphere, that physical quantity is equal to approximately 101,000 300, I think that's 25, I'm gonna ignore it, 300 pascals. So this quantity is equal to one because the thing in the numerator and denominator are the same. It's just that it's convenient in that the unit I don't want cancels out, unit I do want remains. So let me finish writing that down for liters. So for liter, the, that factor of one is one liter is going to equal um, uh, 10 to the minus three cubic meter. Or you can write it in different ways. As long as this ratio is equal to one, I, and all of that is fine. So, so when I do this conversion, the unit I end up with is gonna be joules. So I'll need to divide the resulting thing by another thousand to get a number in kilojoules. So, so, you know, I can do it that way. That's doing it by hand. And that's something everyone should know how to do. So if you have to need to practice doing that, then, you know, by all means, practice. Uh, so six times 101, 300 times um, 0 0.001, that's 10 to the power of minus three, um, equals that in joules. Oh, really? Somehow I thought it would be larger. Anyways, let me divided by another thousand. That seems a little bit, oh, sorry, divide by hundred by mistake. Um, zero points, well, that's what the number I got. Uh, zero point six oh eight. Seems a small, but okay, I guess it's correct. <laughs> so that's one. Um, and let me show you the method that I'm gonna be using for the other two questions, which is that I'm gonna use all from alpha. So I already have my answer, six atmosphere liter. So just unfortunate that that's not the unit that the question wants, but hey, I already have my answer. And my answer is um, six atmosphere times liter. And Ulfram Alpha can be used for unit conversion. You can ask, okay, what is that in joules? And it'll tell you what that is in joules. Okay, that's a 608 joules. And it also kind of 
gives you and other helpful suggestions, what other units you might want it in. Maybe you prefer ERGs, uh, CGS, or electron volt units. <laughs> in any case, uh, in kilojoules, it's 0 0.608, which is the number we had that was correct. So, because, um, you know, especially in these videos, I want to avoid tedious things. <laughs> well, from Alpha is going to be the thing that helps me avoid the tedious things. Um, so, 